Hello friends, I'm Muskan. I hope you all are doing well. Today we will learn about React Native Video, how we can use React Native Video package in our application and how we can show video URL with this package. Next you are thinking where we can use React Native Video. So we can use React Native Video Library where we need to show any video with URL or using local video. If you want to show like this, you can use this package. This is very popular package and uh, this is very easy to install and use. So you will see in the code how we can use this. Let's see the steps to install React Native Video Library. At the very first, uh, we have to install React Native Video with npm package. Then next step, we will import this video library in the component where we have to use this. Then next step, we will use this video as a component and then we will add source file. If you are using the URL, then you have to use with URI and if you are using local file, then you can simply add your local file in source. Let's understand this with code. As you can see here, I have already created a component video example.js and I have imported video example in app.js like this and using in return. And this component, you can see there is only view right now and with container style we will write code for uh, react native video package in this component for the react native video package first thing we will do is install react native video package with npm so i am copying the command from npm web and then i will install this package in terminal it's installed now i will install application after install package It will take some time. It's installed. But we can't see anything here because we didn't edit anything here in the view. There is only background color. So you can see the background color here. Next thing I will do is I will import React Native Video package on the top of this component. I have imported React Native Video and then I will use this video under view as a component. So here you can see I have added video and let's save it. But you can't see here anything and you can see the warning at the bottom trying to load empty source because we didn't edit any source here like we add source for image. So like this I have to add source here as well which will be the video URL. So let's add source. I will gonna use URL so I will add URI. This is the dummy video URL. You can use this or if you want to use your video then you can just replace this URL and if you want to use local videos then you can simply use your local video here instead of URI. Let's save it but still we can't see the video here so I will add some style. Now you can see the video and it's playing but it's only the video we cannot see any play pause button or any progress bar or anything because we haven't added any media control so now what I'm gonna do is in video we have one props name controls so I will add controls here in this we have to pass boolean values so it can be true or it can be false so I have added true let me refresh this once can you see the controls now here at the bottom when i click on post video post when i click on play video started playing i can move forward we can backward video till five seconds with this we can move forward video so like this we can use video if you want to style this properly if you want these control as an overlay on the video for that you can simply pass height after passing height it will not go beyond this height so you can see the overlay of the media controls here on the video 
so you can simply use video library like this you can simply show your video in this video package in this video package we have multiple props let's see one by one let's check documentation you can add volume of the video if i have added 10 you can hear volume of the video is that what you want emo your goal in life you can use muted through it will mute your video we can't hear voice of the video now we can use onload prop of video package in this we have to use any function so I have created one function and I have added console log when video load then it will show us the console. You see here on load function so it will trigger when video will stop loading. It triggers at the very first time when video loads. Now it's continue playing so it will not trigger again. Next thing we'll see on load start. For on load start again I have to create a one function. I have created a function on load start and then I have added console for on load start. Now let's save this and see. I'm refreshing the video. So you can see it triggers at the very first time and it triggers two times. On load start. So when on load start trigger on load start function then when loading paused or loading end then this function will trigger on load we can give it a on load end so that will not confuse us it is a on load end and it is on load start next thing we can use on progress for this again i will create a function I will give it a name on progress and I will console on progress inside this function. Save and now check. On progress triggering continuously because video is on progress, it's playing continuously. So it's triggering continuously. Let's see next prop. Next we will see on buffer. This will be the callback function when remote video will buffer. Let's check this also. I will comment all the console so that we can see on buffer. It is not buffering right now because my internet speed is stable. If your internet speed will not stable then maybe you can see this buffering console. Next we will see on error. This is a callback when your remote video is not playing. So if it's not playing, you will see the console in this error function. Right now it will not trigger because our video is playing. But when your remote video will not play, then you will see the error in this function. In this video library, we have one um, more prop which is full screen orientation. If I will use landscape in this, then it will show me the option to landscape the video. But right now in this library, we have not any support for Android. But uh, you can see this orientation thing in iOS app with this package. But if you want landscape mode in Android, then I can create one more video and in that video we will see custom controls of the media like play, pose and backward, forward, full screen and the volume button everything. If you want that video, please do comment. Uh, I will make video on that as well. These are the common props which we can use in this package. 
but there are many props if you want to use any of them according to your requirement so that you can use from these you can check the documentation i will put this link in description so that you can check from here so i think that's it for today thanks for watching if you like my work please do like share and subscribe